Yes. And so that's what you have been given to help you as a MOPS leader. Because uh, what's in this curriculum, moms are using all over the world. To, so that when they come to MOPS, they can take home a piece of knowledge. And so each curriculum is um, set up similar to each other. But the major part of the MOPS meetings are to start with something fun and maybe some tea and easy. fun icebreaker. There might be a game. There may be a game or um, some dancing and singing. And then there's the devotional, the, the, the part of the meeting. Mm -hmm. After that is the way we connect as moms with discussion questions. And so even though the moms may be listening to the speaker, for discussion times, we usually gather in small groups. And that gives each mom an opportunity to answer the questions. And then our groups might add an activity that we make or a service project to do. And then after prayer um, and closing, that is our MOPS meeting. Now, as a MOPS leader, you follow that basic um, schedule. But if there's something that your moms need to hear that we don't have in the curriculum, then you can add that. Maybe you need to have a MOPS meeting about something that our curriculum doesn't teach yet. Or maybe there's a mom in your group that has something to share that can bless the group. Or maybe even someone from outside, like a pastor, can come and share something unique. Those things are all allowed. The curriculum is supposed to help you and but if you need more then you can add. And we are working on more curriculum. It takes time. 
Um, but eventually, we will add no more. Because with enough time, you can reuse. Because if you had a meeting three years ago with one of these meeting plans, three or four or five years later, it's new again. You will have new testimonies. Your moms will have new ideas. And so even in the U.S., we reuse at meetings um, throughout the years. And our MOPS Africa country coordinators we're, we're working on a, a children's curriculum too. Are there any, do they have any questions specifically or something you want me to say? Yes, we're we are in, yes, we have a draft. But I think we can all agree that Jesus has has changed the world. Billions and billions of people follow him. And it wasn't an accident. He had perfect leadership. So let's look at some of the ways that Jesus led well. And we can learn. So number one. He was called. He was appointed. Hebrews 5.5. 5. Uh, yep, uh, chapter 5, verse 5. So Christ did not take upon himself the glory of becoming a high priest. But God said to him, you are my son, and today I have become your father. See, God called Jesus and appointed him to the position as our Savior. So the first question I have for you today is, do you feel called by God to be a leader? Has God appointed you to be in that position? This is not about you, it's about pointing back to God. Shepherd, good. So even though a shepherd may not seem very important, a shepherd is very important to the sheep. A shepherd. A shepherd is their friend and protector and defender. Even to the point of death. We must be willing to humble ourselves like Jesus. To give up our life for those who follow us. In Zechariah 13:7, it says, 
it's a prediction about Jesus' death. Uh, no, what was that word? Prediction? Um, a prediction. Um, prophecy. It's written, this very night you will all fall away on account of me. Because I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Well, and actually, and in, it's also in Matthew. It's also in Matthew 26. It's in also in Matthew 26. Shepherd, good. So even though a shepherd may not seem very important, a shepherd is very important to the sheep. A shepherd. A shepherd is their friend and protector and defender. Even to the point of death. We must be willing to humble ourselves like Jesus. To give up our life for those who follow us. In Zechariah 13:7, it says it's a prediction about Jesus' death. Um, a prediction, um, prophecy. It's written, this very night you will all fall away on account of me. Because I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Well, and actually, and in, it's also in Matthew. It's also in Matthew 26. It's in, also in Matthew 26. Zakubita umungeri umukumbi w'intama usandare tatu kabiri. Ariko ni imara kuzurwa nzabanziriza kujya i Galilaya. Nungu tatu nakatatu. Maze Petero aramusubiza ati Nubwo bose ibyawe biri ubagushe ngeweho ntabwo bizangusha tatukane There a way that I or you could repay Jesus for his death No nubango tese hari ibyo hari ibintu tuzaba kubana cyo kuba twakwishyura urupfu rwa Yesu yadukiriye No of course not and he knew that when he suffered for us. And though our sacrifice will never be that great, it was an example to us to be willing to sacrifice for others. I want to take a moment actually to talk about mops. I am a volunteer of MOPS. MOPS has very few paid staff. I don't, I don't get paid to do this. In fact, it cost my family a lot of money. It, it cost me money. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, so just, I know, I know. I'll share it soon, so tell about me. So it cost my family a lot of money. And in, in fact, Chelsea and I, we raised our own money to come here. 
So at home when I do work with mops, I don't they don't pay me. I am here because I love Jesus. And and we want the world and mops Rwanda and all of Rwanda to know Jesus. It's the same with Stephanie and the leadership team that stood up before. Do I pay you, Stephanie? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mops is full of, of women who volunteer their time to reach moms. And I could never repay our leaders for the time. I can never repay you for the time that you spend changing the lives of moms. Even the translation and the printing, I raise myself. Not just for Mops Rwanda, but Mops Kenya, Mops Tanzania, Mops Ghana, Mops South Africa. All, all of it is something that is important to spread the word of Jesus. And I'm not, I'm not saying it um, for any applause. I'm not saying it to be recognized or for you to be recognized. Because honestly, I know that each one of you give much from yourselves too. We're all on a team together. Because in Jesus, there's no one higher or lower. So all I can say is, is thank you. I know that you give generously. But it will have an eternal impact. So that, number five, truth. Jesus is truth. There are certain times when we all want to tell small lies. There are certain times when it is easy to tell a lie. Yeah. Proverbs 22.1 It says, A good name is more desirable than great riches. We are all given a choice about how our name will be viewed. And often, often leadership comes with opportunity to try to get something for us or to lie, to get ahead. But in order to lead like Jesus, we need to follow him and submit to God. And Je Jesus, is, Jesus always spoke truth. Even when it was really hard. There were many people who did not like what Jesus said. Alain, j'avais bien
Hallelujah, <laughs>
mu Rwanda bagiye kubona itera ryakira mu nyuma wa PC abagore bose bavuge bati koko mu PC ni umuryango uhuje abanyarwanda yes ashimwe cyane rero ka tunyuma kandi gakoresha gato mu yozi yaje ni gato cyane ibitero bibiri yes ashimwe cyane yes ashimwe cyane akawa kawonye mana yewe we ngo akawa kawonye mana we aleluya ngo akawa kawonye mana we some dancing and singing and then there's the devotional the 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 part of the meeting after that is the way we connect as moms with discussion questions And so even though the moms may be listening to the speaker for discussion times we usually gather in small groups and that gives each mom an opportunity to answer the questions And then our groups might add an activity that we make or a service project to do. And then after prayer um, and closing, that is our MOPS meeting. Now, as a MOPS leader, you follow that basic um, schedule. But if there's something that your moms need to hear that we don't have in the curriculum, 
then you can add that. I don't know about the Virgin Islands. Maybe you need to have a MOPS meeting about something that our curriculum doesn't teach yet. Or maybe there's a mom in your group that has something to share that can bless the group. Or maybe even someone from outside, like a pastor, can come and share something unique. Those things are all allowed. The curriculum is supposed to help you. And, but if you need more, then you can add. And we are working on more curriculum. It takes time. Um, but eventually, we will add no more. Because with enough time, you can reuse. Because if you had a meeting three years ago with one of these meeting plans, three or four or five years later, it's new again. You will have new testimonies. Your moms will have new ideas. And so even in the US, we reuse at meetings um, throughout the years. And our MOPS Africa country coordinators were working on a, a children's curriculum too. Are there any, do they have any questions specifically or something you want me to say? Yes, we're, we are, in, yes, we have a draft. Yeah.